cars, schools, hospitals. Artificial intelligence and robotics are seeping further and further into our lives. Although they are convenient, these new technologies also raise a number of legal and ethical questions. These are some of the challenges being brought to light by the Panel for the Future of Science and Technology of the European Parliament, STOA, whose studies are guiding MEPs through the legislative process. We want a proposal on liability. The evident example is a self-driving car. For the moment it's the driver who is liable uh, if there is an accident. But if I'm not driving anymore, then of course I cannot be liable for an accident caused by my car. And then in this case, who is liable? Is it the producer? Is it the software provider? Is it the network uh, provider? So these questions have to be solved. 75% of EU citizens acknowledge that digital technologies have a positive impact on their quality of life. But at the same time, 88% of those find that the newest technologies should be handled with extreme care. Their concerns have been taken up by MEPs who are calling for an ethical charter or the creation of a European agency for artificial intelligence. It will be tasked with identifying any negative impact on citizens and investigating possible human rights violations. We need expertise and for the moment the greatest expertise is in the industry. And I believe that as consumer, as policymaker, we need independent expertise. So this is why I think uh, we, we would need a European agency. And so that Europe doesn't end up lagging behind, adequate financing for the sector will also be crucial. We need a lot of money to invest because when you see the money invested in China, in US, from private and public sides, we have big efforts to make to remain competitive. The European Commission expects that private and public sectors will invest 20 billion euros in the robotic industry by 2020 and afterwards more than 20 billion a year until 2030. MEPs want to concentrate public support on strategic sectors such as health, energy, transport and cybersecurity.